We're here to recognise members who have been members of the RAA for 50 years. We have 177 members uh, who've been members for over 50 years and we've got 45 of them here today, which is fantastic. When they've arrived, we've, uh, we've given them a, a pin to recognise the, the, the new club, if you like. And then everybody's been in small groups just sharing stories, just fascinating to, uh, to hear what people have been up to over the last 50, 60, 70 years. Well, I came to accept my 50-year pin, which was a great honour for me. Not expecting to be given flowers and recognition for 50 years marriage. I'm here because I've been invited and I was really chuffed to receive the invitation and I thought it was a great idea. Uh, met a lot of lovely people and uh, had some very nice hospitality, thank you. <laughs> really enjoyed the show and the reception we've had this evening and that, that's been mostly job and it was really a nice surprise. And it's been a great success. We have met people that we've known for years and raised for years. The association is a, is a members organisation and, uh, and everything we do is about uh, helping them have a better time when they're out on the water. Uh, but this particular group, because they've been members for so long, they've played various roles in helping the association develop over that period of time. The RYA I think is, is um, one of the best, if not the best, of all the uh, organisations representing sports and recreation. It has very good legal representation um, and it really is in, in tune with, with its members and, and what they want. And I, you know, I, I really couldn't uh, criticise it in any way. It's really been very good. It's been a great event. It's been fantastic for everybody involved to meet friends that they've not seen for ages, talk about things that they've done over the last 50 or 60 years. And for the RAA, it's a great way to recognise the support they've given the association over that period. If I could just get the uh, handsome chap there with the glasses.